I think it's important to remember that Kathy Freeman's win came at a time when we were, as a country, um, finishing up 10 years of a reconciliation process. And so what she was doing was in a way her actions were symbolising what the country was actually trying to do. And in May of 2000, a quarter of a million people marched across the Sydney Harbour Bridge and there was a cry for an apology, a plea for a formal apology. So only months before Cathy ran that race, the nation was marching all around the country actually to make a statement about history in this country. Very different times to now in terms of uh, the visibility of First Nations and what First Nations relationship to the rest of Australia is. And I don't think even at that moment when Cathy Freeman won her gold medal, I fully appreciated how important a moment like that would have been for her and for young Aboriginal people, for young girls, for young people of colour. I just didn't grasp it fully as much as I do now. She made a significant uh, contribution to uh, giving white Australia just one uh, peek at what an Indigenous woman can do. Because I'd grown up never seeing Aboriginal people on television and I grew up getting lots of negative views and opinions about Aboriginal people and there was very little in any of that that assumed that Aboriginal people could achieve. Lighting the torch or lighting the flame and then running in the key event that everybody wanted to see was such a wonderful expression of what Australia could be rather than what Australia is. That's a, a celebration of her culture, uh, the land on which she ran, and uh, for the cause to show uh, uh, people, other Olympians from around the world, uh, uh, just what, what little slip of a woman, of an Aboriginal woman can do. And so, yeah, she showed the world. She showed us and she showed the world. It would have meant that a lot of Australians who held those negative views about Aboriginal people felt that he was somebody that they could embrace and they felt proud of her success. Now, did they go far enough with thinking that through? Probably not, but I think there is something just about that moment that was really, really groundbreaking and that she actually was a symbol of Australia, I think was really significant. I'd like to think now that Australia is having a more honest and open conversation about issues of race and privilege and what it would have meant for someone like Cathy Freeman to overcome all that to mark not only an enormous victory for herself, but also to make an entire nation so very proud of her. So 2020, two decades since Cathy won gold. We still love her, we still talk about her. Just recently we've had off the back of the Black Lives Matters movement, the Aboriginal Lives Matters and Stop Black Deaths in Custody movements, we are seeing this enormous change nationally where um, tens of thousands of people around the country, literally on a daily basis, are trying to change their ways to learn, to understand, to listen to black Australians for the first time for many people. They're walking with us for the very first time and we're taking baby steps with them because that's what we do. I'm not Indigenous and so I'm going to make the same sorts of mistakes as other non-Indigenous people and sometimes get the questions wrong and use the wrong language and I'm not sure how to broach specific conversations. But surely at some point there has to be a reckoning in Australia where we don't see a group of people who were here first as something other than the rest of us. I think Australia's always had a difficult relationship with race. Um, by nature of the way we've all come together to be on this land. And I think that tension continues to exist. It changes, it's not the same as it was 20 years ago. And I think we'll know we've made it when we can recognise Indigenous people for all the culture that they bring, but at the same time, not only want to know them or talk to them or have them in our media when we're talking about Indigenous issues. We have to have faith that we can change as a nation and we, and we have to have hope and we have to believe 
that those moments like Kathy Freeman had that brought us all together can still impact and make changes as we move forward.